Greetings citizens of the world. This is a message on the movement to free Ross Ulbricht. It is now obvious to anyone paying attention that crypto will be taking over the world in many ways. The metaverse, Web3 and decentralized finance will radically disrupt society, and many people are making billions off this technology. It is now a big business, with big investors and big corporations taking notice, but it wasn't always this way. This industry was once just a fringe internet scene of cypherpunks, anarchists, anons and cryptographers. There was one development about 10 years ago that changed everything though, and that was the Silk Road, a dark web marketplace where people could buy and sell anything, even drugs. Before the Silk Road, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency were esoteric terms that were only recognized in the darkest corners of the internet, but after the Silk Road, this technology started to become more well recognized, and began the advance towards mass adoption that we are beginning to see today. The Silk Road was a threat to the system in many ways, it wasn't only undermining the inhumane drug war, it was also making a mockery of the system and showing that technology could be used to disrupt aspects of the system that refused to keep up with the times. Eventually, the founder of the Silk Road was unmasked as Ross Ulbricht when police were able to track him down, but he had a lot of support among the general public, so authorities waged a massive smear campaign against him, including spreading false accusations that he attempted to hire a hitman to take out other Silk Road administrators. These accusations originated from two DIA agents who were involved with the case, and later arrested for tampering with evidence and stealing money. The other administrators who were the alleged victims of the attack were never in any danger, and they have stated that the DIA agents edited the chat logs to incriminate the group in violent crimes that they had nothing to do with. These accusations were thrown out in court and never materialized into formal charges because there was no substance to them, but this did not stop the media from continually repeating this false narrative every time they cover the story. All of the major books and movies of the subject also give a fabricated version of events that don't even line up with the outcome of the trial. Even though his only crime was operating a website, Ross was charged with a double life sentence. Public sentiment finally seems to be shifting in favor of his release. Last month, crypto holders came together to bid on NFTs of artwork that he made in prison, raising over six million dollars for his release, and the release of other nonviolent offenders. You may also want to take a look at the Anon token, a new blockchain project that is building a new crypto ecosystem with DeFi yield staking and NFT marketplace. We are anonymous. We are a legion. Expect us.